Global conglomerate. I'm right with you, sir. One moment, please. Good morning, TGC. Good morning, Trans Global Conglomerate. Can I help you? One moment, please. Harry, didn't I tell you to get me Bob Gould? I've been trying, sir, but all his lines are busy. Take a meeting. You, you, I want you to take a hike. You sound like you're in your car. Look out for that truck! Okay. The, call, call New York. Call LA. LA, New York. New York, LA. Go to a neutral corner and come out fighting. Okay. I want you to hold, hold my calls. Yeah, hold that meeting. Hold the mail. I don't care where you hold it, just hold it. Okay, you fax, fax you. When you fax me, fax you. Come out of there, I know you're in there. God awful shame about Gould. Yeah, he, uh, he kind of snapped. Leaving me short one VP. You got any ideas? I'm your man, sir. You've been with us, what, 11 years? Uh, 12 years. I started in the mailroom. God, that's a hell of a long time to be a junior executive. Thank you, sir. It wasn't a compliment. Shepard, I'm a firm believer in competition. Dog eat dog, that's my motto. That's the way my daddy made it. That's the way I made it. And that's the way my next VP is gonna make it. Now you listen up. I got me a bank up north going south fast. You turn it around and show me a profit in six months and you're back here as our next VP. Well, I don't know what to say, sir. Well, you can say goodbye if it don't work out. Excuse me, sir, but what happens when Bob Gould comes back? Back? From NPI? NPI? Are you deaf? National Psychiatric Institute. Nobody comes back from NPI. Now go make me some money. A bank, Mom. They made me president of a bank. Zach, you can't even balance your own checkbook. You're always late and bankers have to be on time. Look, I'm going to be running things. I can make my own hours. Now, you listen to me. All of your friends are raising families and you are still running around with girls named Candy, uh, uh, Trixie, Lulu. I'm telling you right now, it's time for you to settle down. I will, Mom. I promise. Six months when I'm back as a vice president. Now listen. Look, back, I love you, Dad. I love you, Mom. Where are they I will make you, you very, Jack, honey, very, to very proud. Okay? And, uh, I love you. Kind of I love you. I love you. Is, uh, Zach, don't hang up on me. We want grandchildren. Dr. Murdoch, is something wrong? Oh, the parent company is sending somebody over. You could use the help. Yes, but not from them. They don't have the slightest idea how to operate a bank. Northwest Oregon's flagship station, QORE, serving the towns of Wilsonville, Cave Junction, and Hobart. And remember, citizens of Hobart, only two months till your 150th anniversary. And in other news, Principal Lewis Crandall will be moderating the annual Northwest Spelling Bee Championship tonight at Hobart High. Come on, I'm going your way. Do you know what? I've been standing here 26 straight hours, and you're the first person who's even slowed down without spitting. That much saliva could give a guy a serious inferiority complex if he didn't already have one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hop in. Tell me about Hobart. Okay. Watch it! Watch it! Get it off! I'm sitting on something. I'm sitting on something. Ow! Now, you see? That's the beauty of cotton. 
You can't hurt it. It's your blends and your polys where you get in trouble when you sit on sunglasses. I'm so relieved. I know how dangerous $200 glasses can be. Buy your new pair. Get your dozen new pairs. Get your warehouse full of sunglasses. I can do it, too. I got money. Got a lot of money. Yeah. Right, not here, but I got plenty. I'm rich. I'm the richest guy in the world for my height. So you're staying at the Imperial? Ooh. Excuse me. You don't like me? It's all right. No one likes me. I never said I disliked you. That would take time. I got time. Some people just hate my voice. My name's Newton. 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 Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Zach Shepard. Hi. First Family Bank, Hobart. You know, your folks probably purchased their first savings bond from First Family. Bank, bank, banking. Wait a minute. Bank, bank, banking. I'm getting a memory. Somebody tried to get me into banking once. Oh, I remember now. It's not easy saying no to the Rockefellers. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Why? I'm not being chased. <laughs> Oh, you mean my hometown, my roots, my mother? I got all of them, honest. So why all the questions? It's not like I'm an escaped convict. <laughs> right. So, what have you been doing with yourself lately? Can you keep a secret? Is that radio one way? What? All right, I'll tell you. I'll just tell you. NPI. NPI? I escaped. You escaped? I escaped from NPI. There's not a lot of fat in that sentence, you know. I ran out one night when the guards were asleep. I had to. I was at the end of my rope. I couldn't pee anymore without an audience. Mind if I floss now? Thanks. This is good. Hobart! Home sweet home. Established 1842. Painted 1942, by the way. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, boy. Nice place. Cozy. Thanks. And thanks for the ride. Let's do lunch. Okay, how about now? Get up. I'm Zach Shepard, new president and chief executive officer. First day in Oregon. That's Oregon. Tell me, how long you've been banking with us? <clears throat> see, I well, guess you could uh, call me a regular. Uh, two deposits a week for the last seven years. Good. Yeah, I keep a, a, a lot on hand in case of an emergency. Now, that's a good idea to keep those assets liquid. Well, no, are you nuts? No, I keep mine frozen. That's a smart move for the small depositor. Well, it's not that small. <laughs> oh, the jumbo, huh? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'd like you to think of me as an old friend. And don't be shy. My door is open if you need a hand. Two hands. Hey, I'll get down on all fours. That's how eager I am to please. Nothing would give me more satisfaction than to service you myself. Good afternoon, Mr. McTaggart. Hello. Are you in the habit of keeping our larger depositors waiting? And you must be Mr. Shepard from our headquarters in Los Angeles? Must be. Oh, well, that makes complete sense, then. California weirdos. They're worse than ants, you know. Mm -hmm. They'll grab at anything. They don't care. Mr. McTaggart, try to be nice. Hi, I'm Grace Murdoch, the manager. What the hell is this? The human body? Yes. Miss Murdoch, do you realize there is not a single teller on the floor? Mm-hmm. Well, how the hell do you expect to run a bank without tellers? From now on, we stagger their lunch hours. Oh, and, uh... Hello? Oh, hello, hello, hello? I'd like to take out a loan? Where the hell is the loan department? Mr. Shepard, this isn't exactly your local Chase Manhattan. Well, it could be if we offered a little more personalized touch. If I got any more personal, I'd be arrested. Now, be a good girl and give me the combination to the vault. There is no combination. Help yourself. What do you mean, there is no combination? What is this, a come and get it free for all, take all you want, we don't care kind of bank? No, just your typical run-of-the-mill, nothing out of the ordinary sperm bank. <laughs> Good, I like that. Where's the cash? 
No cash sperm. This isn't sperm. Sperm doesn't look like this. Ah! Great. This is perfect. Career opportunity, my ass. this My secretary in, please. You don't have a secretary. Okay, fine. You'll do. You didn't tell me we were sharing office space. Oh, forgive me. You can use one of the other offices down the hall. But there are no other offices. I'm sure that you'll manage just fine. Now, I need a few things. First, I'd like a five-year profit and loss. I'll need copies of accounts receivable, expense breakdowns, tax statements, and balance sheets as of the 92-93 fiscal year ASAP. I'd also like you to order me a gross-up personalized from the desk of Zachary Shepard memo pads. That's A-R-D. Could you read back what we have so far? I am a biogenetic counselor. I don't take letters. Records? You want records? We've got records. We've got lots and lots of records for Mr. Shepard. Mr. Shepard, A-R-D. I'm sure you'll manage just fine. You know why this place doesn't do any business? Because I've known you for five minutes. I feel like I want a vasectomy. That could be arranged as a public service. Time out, Miss Murdoch, Grace. I am here to make your life a little easier. How nice. You can begin by answering the phones. Uh, uh, I'll be right with you. Thank you. Gladys was one of the lucky ones the IVF took in vitro fertilization. What People magazine calls test tube babies. OK. Here, some advanced reading for you. I can tell you're going to be a big help around here. First family. My 65th child. Oh, Dr. Murdoch, this one we're naming after you. Oh, I'm flattered. As long as you don't make me pay child support. Mm, thank you, Dr. Murdoch. My pleasure. No! I want to see that pinhead accountant's ass in here now. Well, I'm, I'm sure he must be somewhere. I have never seen such cockeyed books in my entire life. Now, uh, where is that pinhead when you really need him? One pinhead reporting for duty, sir. You keep our records. When I'm not monitoring the lab, storing specimen, sweeping the floor. Okay. Watering the plant. Okay, okay, we'll get another gal. Oh, goody. Then we'll have two gals working for you. Tell me something, Grace. Do you understand anything about running a business whatsoever? I understand that this bank is here for the community. It does not make money. It never has made money. It never will make money. Yeah? Yes. Oh, yeah? That's what you think. Look, I'm sorry. We got started off on the wrong foot. 
Let's start over again. I'm new at this. I don't even understand why they built a place like this in a hick town like Hobart. Because hicks like us also have problems with impotence and sterility and sexual performance. We're just like you. Nothing personal. Thanks a lot. We also help women desperate about losing the race with their biological clock. Women like yourself? Nothing personal. You know, to tell you the truth, I prefer sex and babies the old-fashioned way. That is exactly the puritanical attitude we are trying to fight. Mention sperm bank to the average person. Ten dollars on the blue chip. <laughs> or less than average. Does he think about miracle births? Does he think about family planning? Does he think about the fact that one out of every six couples in this country is infertile? No. <laughs> Not that a small-town gal like me would know anything about business, but... Mr. Shepard, are you sure you're the right man for this job? My company seems to think so. That's all that's important. They are behind me and this operation 100%. After all, they did put me up at the Imperial. <laughs> Hi. This one's mine. Front and center. I believe you have a room in my name. Bubbler will name the whole damn hotel after you if that's what makes you happy. I'm Peachy. Got some time on your hand? Excuse me. Could you please look for a shepherd? Shepherd? Absolutely no sheep in the rooms. House rules. I know a, a German shepherd. That's shepherd A-R-D. I'm Valentine, and I've got a hard on for you. This really isn't what I had in mind. I need a hotel that's got an executive gym, 24-hour message center, fax, room service. Could somebody direct me to the nearest hotel like that? Try San Francisco. you try next door? I think she'd just started without you. Hello. Hello. Oh, Zach, hi. Newton. Newton Patterson. The guy who sat on your sunglasses. Oh, hi. Yeah, would you like some dinner tonight with me? Oh, gee, dinner. Let me, uh, let me check my calendar. Yeah, well, you know, I just thought first night in town at all and, uh, I'm sorry, what was I even thinking? You know, you, you don't have time for this kind of thing. You're, you're probably grabbing eat for success snacks in between big deal meetings. I'm sorry, forget about the whole thing. I mean, people like you go to rallies against people like us who dig into homemade turkey stuffed with bacon giblets and sweet potato pie and hot rolls smothered in country butter, coffee with thick, fresh cream and ice cream and syrup and nuts. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Would half an hour be too soon? No. Oh, my God. Wearing that tonight, are you? Listen, sis, it's bad enough running into Mr. Crandall at school assemblies. Do I have to be seen with that guy in public? It's about time you accept that Lewis and I are getting closer. Yeah, closer to marital hell. <laughs> hey, 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 be careful with the groceries. Hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. Hi, Tara. Connie, George. Thank you for babysitting me last night. Well, it was my pleasure. Oh, thank you. We grow all our own vegetables organically. No contentments and no herbicides. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Someday, that could be me. The perfect couple, the perfect child, growing perfect tomatoes. With the perfect jerk. <laughs> yeah, well, he's my jerk, so get used to it. Hello? Thank you. 
trouble. No, I'm not. I don't think it's too much trouble, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure, sort of. Oh, such talk. You'll have your new friend thinking there's something wrong with you if you're not careful. Thank you, dear. Thank you. My Newton's always been a very popular boy. Dan Quayle is constantly pestering him for free advice. Oh, Ma, please. Danny never asked my advice. I mean... <laughs> All right, I told the president not to float the dollar against the pound last Christmas over at Camp David, but... Or maybe it was a Swiss franc. Or maybe it was a Swiss named Frank. <laughs> hey, Ma. Here's to you. It's nice to be home. Now, let's see. Robert had the chocolate shake with his a la carte moo guy pan. <laughs> Ah, uh, you should have had the Genghis Khan combo. Twice the food and uh, 80 cents less. I had the complimentary green tea. Uh, iced jasmine for you, Grace. Uh, uh, large. Now, let's see. That's uh, 3 dollars for me and uh, eight sixty for Robert and you. Well, call it an even eight. Two cents isn't going to break me. Well, at least let me pay for the delivery. Oh, you know what I love about you, Grace? You won't tolerate some chauvinist paying your way. Well, I know you've done your best to make me a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought he was just cheap. Uh, Newton sent me this from Denver. He owns that hotel, you know. Oh, he owns this hotel, too. Well, I didn't know that he owned so many hotels. Oh. He knows everyone. Nice guy? Mm-hmm. What about, uh, Mrs. Gorbachev? Raisin, salt of the earth. But her breath. Gross. Mm. Mm. Well, listen, folks. Speaking of hotels, mm. I think it's time I get back to mine. No, 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 no. Friend of the Pattersons is going to spend even one night in a hotel as long as I'm around. Well, please, I know how you feel, but this company gave him a big VIP suite. Go ahead. Yeah, but, you know... It... Now, 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 there's nothing more to discuss. We have a spare bed, and you're going to stay right here. You may as well get used to the idea. Well, I'm flexible. Well, please, look at the man. I mean, he's not like us. He's not a homebody. He's got to boogie. Fly, bird, fly. Newton, actually... He's staying. He's leaving. Staying. Leaving. leaving. Look, to tell you the truth... Shh. It's... He's leaving. He's staying. Leaving. He's staying, Ma, please. Let that be the end of it. Welcome to the family. Well, if I'm staying, let me at least... Oh, no, don't be silly, dear. If I ever needed any money, I'd simply ask Newton. Mrs. Patterson, look, you don't have to keep up the charade for me. Newton told me that he just escaped from NPI. You won't squeal on him, will you? They'll take him away again, please. Oh, it's so nice having boys in the house again. Oh. Lucky we're the same size, huh? You wouldn't happen to have another one of uh, these, would you? Oh, sure. Newton, huh? I'm kidding. I like jokes. <sighs> hey, you know what? I always wanted a brother. I still do. But, Mom, I, I don't know. So how come you never got married? Well, I guess TGC has always taken up too much time. Yeah, same here. NPI takes up all my time. Also, you need a girl. Haven't you ever had a girlfriend? Ever? Women think I'm goofy. No. Oh, yeah. Once I had a crush on a girl from second grade. Wouldn't she go out with you? I was afraid to ask. Well, what about now? Same. Very much the same. We live in two different worlds, my friend. My life is filled with responsibility. And you are a dreamer. Does that make me a bad person? No, you just can't spend your whole life running away. That's all. I'll go back, I promise. You know what I think you need? I think you need direction in your life. How would you like to come and work for me? I could really use a personal assistant. Really? Are you serious? I am absolutely serious. 
But I'm warning you now, if you decide to say yes, watch out for the witch who manages the place. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I'll do it. I'd love to. Good. We start at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Sharp. Make it 7.30, you got a deal. Thanks. Good night. Excuse me. Oh. What are you doing here? Vacuuming. Uh, I knew this job would never last a day. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, listen, I welcome any help I can get. I'm Grace Murdoch. Oh, hi. Not the Grace Murdoch Hobart High 76. What a surprise. Uh, um. I'm sorry, your face doesn't ring a bell. Newton, Newton Patterson. I had more hair. Uh, uh, sure, sure, of course. So, Nathan, uh, what have you been up to since graduation? Well, actually, I didn't graduate. I hate institutions, schools. I meant to say schools. What would I know about institutions? Boy, if Zach had told me I was working with Grace Murdoch, he could have gotten me for a lot less than minimum wage. Huh? <laughs> Well, too bad we never had a chance to get to know each other in school. Oh, but we did. We, oh, oh, I had Miss Pentel with you in eighth grade geography. And then in ninth grade, we had Mr. Morris for music. And then 10th grade algebra with Mr. Meeks. No, wait, no, wait. You had Mrs. Tunis that period because you had a conflict with health. That's it. I win. By the way, it wasn't easy getting transferred into your class. I just loved you. Health. I loved health. I loved that you were healthy. That's it. Honest. <laughs> Weren't those the days? Say, uh... You don't think the witch who runs this place is going to boil us in oil if she catches us chatting? Nah. Well, yeah, but Zach says she's the kind of B-I-T-C-H who eats men's B-A-L-L-S and spits them out. He should know. He's the expert on women. Right. He wrote the book. Did he? Know what he did then? He read it. Know why? Because, and he says she's just like any other S-E-X starved cow. <laughs> Hey, what's a kid like you doing at a place like this? Come on, come on. Guilt by association. I'm Bobby Murdoch. Grace, your son is here. No, you may not borrow the car. There are dead animals in my freezer. Yeah, I ran some space out to the butcher. Somebody has to make this place cost efficient. Oh. For the record, Grace is my sister. I know, I know. I'm one of those mistakes you hear about. She is a tough cookie. She's really not half bad. You know, it hasn't been easy playing mom to me. My folks died when I was a kid. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, kid, aren't you forgetting something? Thanks. Parked right up front. Bobby, bring it back in one piece. Only yesterday it was Big Bird. And today, you and your penile implant. How about it, Grace? One of the fringe benefits of biogenetics? Dirty movies? We're on everybody's mailing list. Who has the time? Let's make time. Oh, Mr. Shepard, would you mind watching the babies? Oh, he'd love to. Mr. Shepard loves children. Shouldn't take more than 17 minutes. <laughs> What's going on here? This is my mommy and me class for the test tube babies. Johnny and Ruth and Beulah were gamete interfallopian transfers. Love it. Mm -hmm. What do we clear in the class? It's free. I hate it. If all you wanted to do is help people, why didn't you join the Peace Corps? Thank you, Mother Teresa. Mother who? Newton! Newton! Isaac! Get the telephone! Ooh, the phone's wet. Hello, uh, Hobart Bank. Newton speaking. Sid, I can't believe Sid, hi, it's me and Newton. I just got to town. 
Oh, man, Sid. Wait, wait, before I forget. Sid who? Sid the sperm broker? Oh, wait, the sperm broker, I saw that with Rod Steiger, where he put his hand on the spike. Yeah, like, that was great. <laughs> oh, no, wait, that was the porn broker. The sperm broker, I guess you put your hand on it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right, wait, hold on, I'll ask him. Zach, Sid Singer on the phone. Do we have any loose sperms lying around? Uh, Mr. Singer, thank you, but we're not the kind of place interested in a quick button. Hello. Hi. This is Zach Shepard. <laughs> President and Chief Executive Officer. Make him up. Make him up. Make him up. Yes, uh, Mr. Singer. Uh, change the diaper. Can you change the diaper? I'm sorry. Business is booming. How can I help you? I don't usually call on you smaller outlets, but my two biggest suppliers were Chapter 11 last week. Bye, Zach. So, are you ready to deal with the big boys? Okay, now what were you saying? I'm offering 60 bucks per vial for frozen sperm. Yeah, well, how many do you need? 5,000 vials, son. Can you deliver? When? Eight weeks, max, and not a day later. Oh, well, uh, you're in luck. But, uh, you know, we only got one problem here, Mr. Singer. That's last year's prices, and you know it. Well, I might be able to swing 70. Uh, listen, uh, we got another call coming in right now, so we'll talk to you later, okay? Always squeezing my balls, okay? 80. What'd you say? 80. <coughs> I mean, sold, 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 yes, yes, sold, we did it! Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, okay. Give me a big five, give me a big five, we did it, we did it! We did it. Guess you just landed a six-figure account, 5,000 vials. Why didn't you tell me that we could sell this stuff on the open market? $400,000, because... We did it. We did it. Five thousand vials. We can't possibly fill that large an order. We can't do it. All the other banks have gone belly up. We're just going to take up the slack because we, we did, did it. it. We did it. We did it. You big silly fool. We did it. In order to sell, you have to have donors, thousands of donors in order to fill an order that size. And in order to have donors, you have to pay them. You've seen our books. Miss Murdoch, you seem to forget that we have the resources of multi-billion dollar conglomerate behind us. All I have to do is make one simple call. Are you nuts? Listen, I pay you to make money, not to spend it. Not one damn dime's gone into that company. Nice talking to you too, sir. Bye. Well, now, who bought in your oatmeal this morning? Oh, I could kill my new supervisor. He doesn't know, is it? Oh. Uh, Jomisha, mm. can't we do something about my hair? Do you realize that I've worn it this way since I was in college? Why, Grace Murdoch. <laughs> When a woman gets a sudden, impulsive, uncontrollable urge to change her hair, it can only mean one thing. <laughs> it did the faith of a woman in love. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. He's the most arrogant, self-centered man I have ever met. Well, why in heavens are you going steady with him, Grace? Lewis. Of course. You, you're talking about Lewis. Yes, Lewis. Yes. Sure. <laughs> you went Lewis. Yes. I'm sorry. I've had the flu. He thought I was Bobby's mother. Domisha, am I starting to look... You want honest or nice? Nice. Well, you're spending so much time with Lewis, you're starting to look like it. What would honest have been? Listen, Grace, you need to cut loose. How about running away with me to Hollywood? Can't you see it? Joe Misha Jackson, hairdresser to the star. You want honest or nice? No. I've done the big city thing after Yale. So this is it? I have an identity here, a purpose. I wouldn't raise kids anywhere else. Kids? Now, I think 
you of all people would be sick of kids. I hate to sound unliberated, but after starting 65 of them in the lab, I'm dying to have a kid of my own. Oh, Grace. <laughs> There's got to be some way to get guys to volunteer. Some gimmick. Newton, concentrate. I'm thinking. Forget it. Forget it. it, it it's just all over for me. My mother was right. Twelve long years. And they tricked me. God, I deserve that promotion, damn it. God, I hate this job. I hate this town. I hate every one of those little hermetically sealed test tubes full of... And those cubicles, I hate them. <laughs> you couldn't get me in there for a hundred thousand dollars. What'd you, what'd you just say? Blah. No, about the cubicles. I love them. No, 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 you hate them. I hate them. I wouldn't go in for a hundred thousand dollars. That's it. Ah! A contest? Yeah, it's so simple. Every guy 16 to 86 will enter. The man with the highest sperm count wins a hundred thousand bucks. Newton certifiable, what's your excuse? Hey, listen, for 300 grand, I'll do crazy. Grace, it's our only chance. Zach, don't you get it? Our assets shouldn't be bought and sold. They're gifts from God. The gift of life, the hopes of our future. Don't you have any feelings? Of course I have feelings. I have the feeling my career is going straight down the tubes. Wait. There's something different about you. Oh, I... Let me see. Oh, I see it now. Your face has a softer look to it. You've put on a little weight, haven't you? Nice hair. I'll see you on the other side. I definitely will not take part in your scheme. Oh, come, Grace, I need you. You make it sound like this sex-starved cow is indispensable. So that's it? No, that's not it. I don't give a hoot what you think about me. The less contact we have, the better. Yeah, well, we're gonna have a hell of a lot more contact if we can't make this bank tick. Get a transfer. They don't transfer losers. They bury them in holes like Hobart. I'm gonna be breathing down your neck to the year 2000. And if I help out? Vice presidents get called back to the main office. You can have your bank back. You're disgusting. Okay, look, I live here, so I want your solemn word that you will do this with taste. Some helpful hints you can apply to raise your... Looks like they finally settled the Liberace estate, huh? Yes. I got this and the candelabra. You should not drink. You should not drink. No cigarettes. No cigarettes. Because no smokers with no bed. With no bed. And throw out those designer pants. Because a tight crotch has no chance. So you better shape up. Better shape up. And sacrifice all that is dear. Sacrifice. It's tough but old. now, but here comes the early favorite. Hey, you want to talk girl? Ed Walker produced eight kids in six years' stretch. And now.
now, ladies and gentlemen, Hobart's newest and most welcome citizen, Zach Shepard! Well, hello, citizens of Hobart. Thanks for coming down. My name is Zachary Shepard, and I am the president and chief executive officer of First Family Sperm Bank. In exactly eight weeks, our town will do its share to combat the epidemic of infertility that is sweeping our country. And one of you lucky men is going to be one hundred thousand dollars richer! <laughs> All right, listen up, the rules are simple. The highest sperm count wins. And your chances are only as good as the amount of deposits you make, keeping in mind the helpful little hints that our lovely young ladies have told us all about. First deposits can be made four weeks from tomorrow, and the winner will be announced at Hobart's 150th anniversary. I only have one thing left to say, gentlemen, Start your engines! <laughs> May the best man win! Now this is my kind of sperm. Nice, slow, hang around, watch cable. This is a good baby, no crying. No, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Hmm? This won't even make a baby. Slow is bad, fast is good. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And... The sperm count of the average American male has fallen 25% in the last generation. Due to stress, pollution, junk food. We have to reject nine out of ten donations. Well, it just shows you that my standards are a little higher than yours. I get rejected ten out of ten times. Well, don't give up. You're going to find someone. Someone special like you. Oh, good. Well, look, I'm just making sure we have some extra room for some storage space. You want to give me a hand? Robin Laura Petrie. <laughs> Still gross. Oh, cool. Nice fiber boy. It only opens from the outside. Just like a woman panicking over every little setback. Help! Help! Ah, Newton! These walls are six inches thick. We're trapped. Why the hell didn't you install a safety catch? Whose demented friend locked us in? I'm freezing. I'm surprised you'd notice being the original Ice Maiden. You superficial, opportunistic lizard. You stuck up bitch. You self-centered, obnoxious, ignoramus. You goddamn castrant. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. All this screaming, it's making me warmer. You ah, arrogant. Tight, tight lip, tight ass, slow-minded, stubborn pedantic, prissy little, little oh, prissy. How much time do you give us? We'll show a loss of vital signs in, let's say, 14 to 18 minutes. <gasps> well, you don't seem to be uh, too alarmed. Scientists are programmed to mask their feelings. I am scared shitless. Well, look. I only got C's in biology, but I would bet that our combined body heat might Make us a little, just warmer. Yeah? Well, I, I, I guess in the interest of survival. Well, your ears, they're so cold. Here, here, here. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Don't 
come on, I was young once too. <laughs> Artificial insemination. Your husband's, uh, impotent. I don't have a husband. And I don't expect to find one. I'd make a great mother, though. I know how much it costs to have a baby like this. Here, take this. This is my life savings. It's not enough. I don't want your money. What's your name? Cindy Andrews. Mr. McTaggart. Hmm? Do you know... Cindy Andrews. Cindy Andrews. No, I, I don't. Well, I think you two probably have loads in common. Listen, why don't you take her to a nice lunch? I'd be happy to. Great. I'll be upstairs waiting. Okay. Oh, God, I need protection. This contest couldn't have come at a worse time. I, I got married this morning. Not that kind of protection. No, not, not that either. See, I can go without the drinking, I can go without the smoking, but no sex on my honeymoon? I'll never last. I got just what you need. Thank you. Come here, hon. What do you want? Spend an evening with my wife. Now that your bank has gone public, the principal's girl operating a sex clinic? I know, Lois. It's a dirty job. My point precisely. Now, I will get you a normal job teaching uh, biology. Or, or if there's no room, I'll squeeze you into phys ed or home ec. Home ec. But my work is meaningful. <laughs> oh, yeah. $100,000 to the man with the highest sperm count. What's the matter, Lewis? Are you afraid you won't win? I have no reason to doubt my virility. It speaks for itself. So I'm sure you will agree. Hello? It's awfully quiet in here all of a sudden. It's not important what I think. It's how you feel about yourself. Uh, oh, really, Grace? You can dispense with the therapy cliché of the month. I am not one of the anal neurotic bubbleheads in your group. One L in fertility. And two S's in insensitive. Oh, I'm the insensitive one. You know that I love my work. Well, maybe you don't know. Maybe there are a lot of things about me you don't know. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea you were such a rotten speller. I can spell. I just can't type with you watching over oh, my Well, screen. how can you get anything done out here? You've got a perfectly good office inside. Inside, there are no flowers, oh, no flowers. trees, no birds. Birds? Grace, what has happened to you? Ever since that new boss of yours showed up. You, you know, I, I've seen those cocky, good-looking types before. They, they spell nothing but trouble. Do you really think he's not good-looking? Oh, well, he'd be, be nothing without his blow dryer. Color of eyes, baby blue. <laughs> Color of hair, oh, not applicable. Sorry, dear. Now, would you sign this and bring it back? Next, here we go. Any history of genetic defects in your family? Uh -uh. Um, and you haven't had sex in the last 28 days, correct? Sweet cakes, I ain't had sex in the last 28 years. But in your case, I might make an exception. <laughs> this competition is obscene. It's unfair to working girls. Unfair to and homemakers, you next, women of Hobart. No, Hobart is a homemaker. Jobs. This rate is going to take.
take us another five months to meet our quota. Sid's only giving us three weeks. We could add more staff, get the guys going in and out faster. Ha, 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 no pun intended. What pun? Ma's been swamped all day. You know, we could get ten times the room just by repartitioning. Romantic music would be nice. The place is so clinical. Comfy beds, soft lighting, stuff like that. Newton. I'm Newton. Has anyone ever called you a genius? I have. Why, he's the smartest boy in the world. For his height. Come on, Zach. We gotta talk. Oh, Gloria. Yeah, come on in. Uh, make yourself comfortable. You, you look a little tired. I don't think this marching really agrees with you. Oh, have I got trouble. If my girls can't get work, they'll be out on the street for real. Hobart's first homeless. Soon we'll be looking like the Bronx. Okay. We got a problem, huh? Let's put our thinking caps on, huh? Now, uh... Newton, you said that we could use some help around here, right? Nurses. What? Nurses. Bobby, do you think you could find us some nurses' uniform somewhere? Definitely. I'm a 36 deep, Bobby. Oh. Newton, you are a genius. All right, come on, let's get to work. What is he doing? Uh, he's, uh, testing the mattresses. So, you say you're a model and an actress and a waitress. <laughs> when did he get out of the loony bin? Hey, that is my pal you're talking about, huh? This one's okay, too, Zach. Whoa! Hey, hey! This one's defective. Take it back. I think I want it. Mick Taggart. Yes? Specimen cups. Yeah. Specimen cups. Right this way, Mr. Mick Taggart. Okay. Next, please. Ed Walker. Specimen cups. Get your little specimen cups right here. I brought my own. Holy shit.
perfectly. You're a natural with sperm. I mean that you have a real aptitude for science. Oh, you're just saying that. No, if I didn't know better, I would swear that you'd been a lab assistant for years. <laughs> Jeez, if I got this kind of turnover on the street. Grace, Zach needs some information on storage and delivery. He'll talk to you over dinner tonight. He assumes I have no plans. Well, do you? Yes. <laughs> they can be changed. You've got the hots for him, don't you? Oh, please. I'm already in a serious relationship. So are my best clients. Don't fool yourself, honey. The eyes never lie. But the trick is to get him to look at you the same way. Didn't they teach you anything useful at that college? This is fun. I never had the chance to dress Barbie when I was a kid. Because you probably spent too much time undressing Ken. Were you looking for the okay. same thing I was? <laughs> okay. Okay, can I open your papers? Oh, my God. I look so cheap. Mm -hmm. And, and easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And ready. Yes! <laughs> but I'm not ready. Wow, you look terrific. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I think taking in 50 grand in a single day entitles us to a toast. What do you say? Oh, I suppose one drink couldn't hurt. I bet you think I've already had too much, huh? No. Yeah. If I were drunk, my pulse rate would shoot up. And that would cause the capillaries to dilate. And blood rushes into them. And that makes the skin feel warmer. I ask you, does my skin feel any warmer than usual? Huh? If the alcohol had already begun to anesthetize the nerves, of the frontal lobe of my cerebrum, I would already have lost most of my inhibitions. Well, that's something you would have noticed, don't you think? Everybody thinks I'm so straight and narrow. But I'll tell you, from the first moment I laid eyes on you, I wanted to jump your bones.
morning. Morning. Grace, listen. About last night... Please, I'm perfectly aware of the facts of life. I'm not really sure how to, how to break this to you. I was that bad? Grace, I... Okay, I, so maybe I'm not as experienced as some of your other conquests. I never thought of lovemaking as a competitive sport. Would you please stop and listen for a minute? Oh, I, I'm I feel so inadequate. Grace. What? You are terrific. I... You are great. I... Fireworks. Did I... Six times? <gasps> you are an animal. I wish I could remember. Well, maybe we should just try to refresh your memory. Uh. Mm. Mm. Bobby's here. Not now, okay? Six, huh? Good morning, Miss Armstrong. Good morning, Mr. Shepherd. Not saving up for your contest. Come on along, Reginald. Make a poop. She's been running the charm school for 60 years. My childhood sweetheart lived over there. Now he has a family of his own, two blocks down. Were you upset when he got married? Not really. We broke up in first grade. Paving the way for me to sweep you off your feet. All I know is I've never made love the way we did last night. A truer statement was never made. I don't know why I'm even bothering with this. Not when Ed Walker, the human baby machine, has already been in here. Did you say Ed Walker? Mm. Uh, no, I'm not one to gossip, but you brought up his name. I didn't. Now, this is strictly confidential. We tested Ed Walker, and he's sterile. Mm -hmm. Has been all his life. You mean that none of those eight kids are his? Do I have to spell it out for you? His wife must be a nympho. What? A nympho. Oh, now don't you dare repeat this to a soul. Lynn, <gasps> please, I've changed. I'll admit, I made a few mistakes. Eight that I can think of. I've seen a psychiatrist. Now you're hoping a doctor. <gasps> That's it. I'm not running a foster home anymore. Uh, please don't. I mean, each of those kids may have a different father, but, but you're the only one they call dad. Honey! Press apple pie for the picnic. Hey! Ugh. Lewis. No, I can't stand a picnic. Insects, the grass stand, the ghastly, soggy sandwiches. We have to talk. We have to talk fast. Um... Grace. Yes? There comes a time in every relationship... When things change. Uh, yes. Yes. I, yes. And, and life is... Well, too short, really, to stand still. Great. So you feel like I do. I, yeah, as I do. Yes, yes, I, I do. And and Good. I will marry thee. Oh. oh but, uh, if, if you don't like it, I, I suppose we, we could exchange it, although it was a sale item. I, I, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And, and, and you're wonderful and, and, and generous. But I, I, I can't accept the ring. I'm, I'm having second thoughts. Oh, my girl. Well, um, you, uh, you, you like your freedom, and, and you're not yet ready to, to, uh, to give it up. I understand that. I mean, that's it, isn't that? No, I'm ready. Oh. Mm. Uh, oh, look at this. Daddy, don't leave me. You're not my daddy. You're too tiny, worm! 
more victims of this insanity. You know, that's perfect more than you love me. Yes, I have. You know, ever since that sleazy boss of yours showed up, people have just been at each other's throats. Completely forgetting what's really important, maintaining personal relations. Please, this is the original paint. That feels like a yes. I told Lewis I wasn't ready for marriage. Oh, great. To him. Grace? Uh-huh. I'm not sure I'm ready for the kind of commitment you deserve. talking about commitment. I was just trying to get my feelings straight. Zach, there's something I'd like you to do for me. Just name it. Shut down the contest. What? It's making people crazy, except for the divorce lawyers. But I'll never get my promotion. How can I... you think about a promotion when people I've known all my life are suffering? One more week, Grace. Just it's one more week. Zach. That... I want it closed now. For, no, for Grace, forget it. Nothing means anything to you except your damn promotion. My whole life depends on this. I, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm sorry. Lewis was right. You use people. When I think about how you got me drunk and took advantage of me, Nothing happened that night. But I thought we... Six... So... I was so unattractive that you couldn't bear to touch me. Grace, please, That's even no. worse. You just pretended to like me because you needed my expertise. Would you... Grace, I think... That we have something really special going on here. Didn't we just prove that? We proved nothing. We got wet and sticky in the grass. I never would have made love with you Shh. if you hadn't tricked me into thinking we already had. Hell, you've never made love to would me. You, where are you? What are you doing? Would you? What you did to me, you did to the whole town. Look, your friends in Hobart are just like people everywhere else. 
out to get rich quick. So get off your high horse. And wallow in the manure with you? No, thank you. I'd rather see the world my Come. way and be wrong than your way, even if you're right. And you're wrong. Would you? California kid, uh, go uh, home! Shepard, go home! <gasps> Here comes Zach. The bank is a home wrecker! California kid, go home! Shepard, go home! What the hell is going on? What is this? This bank is closed. This bank has the legal right to operate unobstructed. We're here to stay. Gentlemen, please go home to your wives and children. We're staying right where we are. You stay here. Grace, I am going to have to do something. Do what you have to do, Snake. that drinking lowers their sperm count. <coughs> That's your very you'll score tonight. Score? Sex. S-E-X? No, thank you, uh, but I, I've never really... Alone, sure, but with others, you know, I... Uh, once I was close, but even then... Well, uh, that one over there kind of likes you. I'm not interested in prostitutes. She's the judge's wife. It's a good place, a very good place. Wake up. Zack, I gotta tell you, it was unbelievable. Zack, please, it's like a slingshot effect. No women in 33 years and 33 women in one night. Zack, Zack, please get oh please get up. Come on. Come on. Look. Please, I never had anybody to tell this to in high school. What time is it? It's a time to remember. I gotta tell you all about it. I don't want to hear about your love life. First of all, it wasn't love. It wasn't bad. But it wasn't love. I mean, love is what you and Grace have. Well, you really are depressed. Why? Grace is a terrific girl. Love's overrated. Trust me. Nothing compares to that feeling of a job well done. Next week, delivery to Sid, 400,000 big ones. You know why? We did it. That's right, partner. We did it. <laughs> I always fall for that. <laughs> Should I get you a cup of hot tea? Oh, no. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Last door on the left. Oh, excuse <laughs> me. Oh, and Mr. Shepard, congratulations. 
You might be interested to know that I left him. Jesus, this is even worse than I thought. I refused to sit back and let him exploit the people that I grew up with. I didn't exactly see him put a gun to anyone's head. He's a ruthless opportunist who cares only for himself. In other words, it was safer to dump him before he dumped you. I hope you're not thinking about getting back with Lewis. We're exploring a reconciliation. No. Lewis is stable. No surprises. He's educated, honest, and most important, he's a good, good role, role model. Yes. Get a clue, sis. And next time you want a role model for me, find someone worth loving. I'll be at Laura's. You're leaving. Oh, yeah. TGC, call me back to L.A. Head office. Do you mind if I... Thanks. Listen, I, I, then I just want to thank you for everything. I mean, for giving me a job and for being my friend and for packing my bags and... Why did you pack my bags? Because you're coming with me. What? You've got to have an opening in the mailroom. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Come on, we got to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I can't... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, go. Mom! Oh, Zach, I can't believe it. L.A. Pretty girls, starlets, B-girls, taxi dancers, vamps, trollops, chicks, cheerleaders, Laker girls. Have I left anything out? <laughs> hey, Zach, the peanuts are here. Zach, honey roasted. Yes! Yes! I knew it. Sit down. You have single-handedly positioned us for the mid-90s. I have? 20 million sexually disturbed Americans. Half of them right out here in Southern California. <laughs> We're opening a string of banks. I guess that makes me VP of sperm management. <laughs> You're hitting up the whole division right here. We're shutting down that penny ante operation of yours up there in Oregon. Uh, that's Oregon, sir. I want to tell you something, Shepard. That idea of yours of collecting deposits at no cost, that's absolutely brilliant. But not exactly at no cost. I mean, we, we do have that $100,000 debt to Hobart. Oh, bull squad. Let them sue us. Hey, that's what God invented, lawyer, son. They may collect 10 years down the line. <laughs> that's the American way, Mr. VP. First Family Bank is no longer operative pursuant to Chapter 11 of the U.S. Bankruptcy Law. All inquiries should be directed to Zachary P. Shepard, Vice President. That no good rotten scumbag! I'll just bet our own sweet Dr. Grace Murdoch was in on it, too! Yeah! Mr. Shepard's office. I take it you approve. Beyond my wildest dreams, Mr. Hughes. You call me J.F. Look at that view. You know something, Shepard? What's that, J.F.? I bet you on a clear day, you might even see Hobart. <laughs> Make me some money, boy. Yes, sir. Hi, Mr. Hughes. Who the hell are you? Newton Patterson. I designed the space station. Well, the Japanese did that. Exactly my point. I'm the guy who bought the design from the Japanese. I thought our government negotiated that directly. That's what I'm saying. I'm the guy who negotiated the sale between our government and the Japanese. And, by the way, I can do the same thing for your company and first family of Hobart. Where did you hear about that? We have the same broker. You know Teddy Fowler? Teddy Fowler. You use him? Oh, do I use him? Do, oh, use, use Teddy Fowler. I just bought seven companies with him last, a while ago. Go away. Yo, sure. Eight companies. I bought eight companies. with seven companies in a small country. It's so hard to tell the difference sometimes, don't you find? Hey, that's the truth. <laughs> Barry, cancel my lunch and bring us two scotches over here. <laughs> I'll have two scotches, too, please. I'll have two scotches, too. Boy, you're a pistol. <laughs> if 
From Glen to Glen and down the mountainside. The Mr. Hughes, Sid Singer on the line. Yeah, hello. My spoim is gone. What? That new VP of yours just drove off with my spoim. Shepard stole what? My spoim van. The van? The whole goddamn van? What in the hell is he doing back in Oregon? That double-crossing son of a bitch! He's... Sorry, first of all, there's no need to curse, really. But most importantly, look, the reason I came here is because as Zach's friend, his best friend, I'm here to tell you that it's going to cost you $100,000 to get the van back. Did you just escape from NPI or something? What a guess. Remember, no van, no string of banks. <laughs> well, now, you got me scared. Honest? Look, Mr. Hughes, you know, I would have written Zach a check for the whole thing myself if I thought you were going to be such a big baby about it. In fact, I'm sorry to have to do this. Mary, get Teddy Fowler on the phone, please. And two more scotches. <laughs> Mary, cancel them scotches and get the police. Oh, yeah? Cancel the police and get the FBI. Your turn. <laughs> oh, wait, can I have one more turn? Cancel the FBI and get the CIA. In fact, cancel the FBI and the CIA and get anybody with three initials and a gun. <laughs> this is fun now. Not long ago, a stranger came into our town. He gave us hopes, made us promises. Of money, which is probably earning interest in his Swiss bank account. That's not the issue. First family is history. We've been had by this Californicator. No, no, no. I hear she's been making it with the bomb. Oh, let the poor woman speak before you burn her at the stake. Joan of Arc was afforded that courtesy. This contest has brought out a side in our nature that I have never seen before. An ugliness, a chauvinism, an unadulterated greed which has almost destroyed us. Are we so stupid as to equate a man's virility with the number of spermatozoa in his reproductive fluid? And the winner is... The name in this envelope means nothing. A billy goat has twice the count of any of you. How could we forget that the truest test of strength in men and women is in our integrity? In our compassion. and our kindness to one another. I think I'm the only one in Hobart who knows the stud of the year, but I'll never tell. There he is, there he is. Come on, guys, let's surround him. We've got him. Forget Shepard. Just give me that spur. Security 518. It's all yours. All right, Mr. Shepard, you're under arrest. His deceit has affected all of us, but instead of just feeling angry, maybe we should keep his name alive as a reminder never to let money overpower our need for love and trust. If we can learn just that, nobody here will have been any poor for having known Zach Shepard. Speak for yourself. The deadbeat almost wiped me out. When I think of the credit, I extended that fraud. Sounds to me like Zach and his weird little friend took you all for a ride. Now you right. look right. here. My Newton is a fine, upstanding boy. Funny. The Newton Patterson I remember was a nerdy high school dropout. He was a loser then, and an even bigger loser now. You can't talk about my son like that! Says who? Says me! Oh. 
I know you people feel betrayed. But... Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Where's the prize money? Yeah! yeah! There isn't any. I, uh, I screwed up. Oh, Look, look, if it's, if it's any consolation, I've... You're not alone. I've lost everything. My job, my career. Even the girl I never had. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for coming into your people's lives. I, 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 you, won't, you won't ever have to see me again. I say we turn and feather the bed. Yeah. Where do you get off so high and mighty, Clarence? Seth treated me like a person, which is a lot more than I can say for any of the ex-Johns I see out here. And there's plenty of them, believe me. Right, I'm supposed to cry in my beer because he taught a whore a few new tricks. Some of us feel different. Tell them, Bessie. Like most of you folks, we stopped making whoopee. But let me tell you, we had some of the finest cuddling you could ever imagine. Why? Well, if it hadn't been for that contest, I might never have known what a warm and gentle man I got. Hell, Bessie, you're the best. Even if you are a mean-tempered pig. Well, if you ask me, that bank's been nothing but trouble from the very beginning. Anything for a profit. That's not true. When Zach got Ted and me together, he was only trying to help two lonely people. Daddy, I miss you so much. I love you. I love you. You're a damn fool if you let him get away this time. Men like that aren't easy to find, Grace. Believe me, sweetie, I've looked. Grace, then. Remember, I'll be getting a pension. Well, uh, unlike most of you, I met... Zach, the first day that he arrived in town. And I got to know him pretty well over a spell. And, well, I can say personally, and I, and I speak from my heart, that I still think he's an asshole. Well, that settles it once and for all. Now, if McTaggart thinks he's an asshole, he's all right in my book. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me for being so bullheaded and stubborn. Even though I was always right. Looks like my business will never get back to normal. I'm opening Hobart's first New York deli <laughs> with hot chicken soup and the best waitresses in town. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Hi, Jamisha. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Hobart. Happy birthday! Come along, Mr. Patterson. It's time to leave. They're making him away again! Yeah. Uh, Jack, you got Newton. Who? NPI. It's time to take you back, Mr. Patterson. <laughs> Damn shame. Release this man this instant. I am a doctor. And he's as sane as anybody else in this town. Please, everyone, don't be upset. You were right, Zach. A man can't run away forever. And since you're all in a bit of a bind anyway, I decided to write out a check myself to the whole town for the prize money and a little bit more. One million dollars? It's easy. You just add zeros. Newton, I thought we were making some sort of progress. Crazy as a bed bug. Zach, wait. This check is certified. Hey! What account? NPI, of course. NPI? NPI? Yes, NPI. Newton Patterson Industries. What else? Newton, Newton Patterson, Patterson Industries. Industries. Didn't you tell them you were a billionaire? Well, sure I did, Ma, the day we met. Well, then go get into your regular clothes. Okay, Ma. Come on, guys. Yes, sir, Mr. Patterson. That boy. Yes, Tokyo, London, Paris. He's probably the richest boy in the world for his height. 
But when the pressures become too much, he takes off. But they always come and get him again. God, and I made you my assistant? But that's how I knew I could trust you, Zach, as president of TGC. TGC? Me? Yes, ultimately, negotiating with Hughes was regressive, so I bought the company. So what do you say, Mr. President? We start tomorrow at 7 o'clock sharp. I get 7.30 and you got a deal. Come on, Zach. No time for jokes anymore. You're my man at TGC, and I want results, and I want them fast. What's that? Hmm? <laughs> no time for jokes. <laughs> well, I think I'll go off and scout locations for a new headquarters. Anybody want to come along? We do. Bye, Ma. Bye, Zach. Bye, Grace. And fish out that van. I don't want to get sued for a sperm slick. The stud of the year. <laughs> I'm pregnant. 